today we will see how mechanical watch works. First, we need to know what a mechanical watch is. A mechanical watch is a watch that uses a clockwork mechanism to measure the passage of time, as opposed to quartz watches which function electronically via a small battery, or radio watches, which are quartz watches synchronized to an atomic clock via radio waves. Now let's get acquainted with some of the mechanical parts of the watch. Number 1. Driver Cannon Pinion Cannon pinion is the heart of the motion works. This piece is what translates the movement of the train wheels into the time-keeping display on dial side. It is attached to the center wheel by friction fit, and it is the post that the minute hand is set on. Cannon pinion attached to center wheel. During time adjustment, the driver cannon pinion is geared by the minute wheel. This pinion drives the minute hand. Number 2. Sliding Pinion The sliding pinion mechanism was invented by Jean Adrien Philippe 1815 to 1894. The whole of the wigwag pinion is square and lays freely on the square part of the stem. When you wind up your watch, the wigwag pinion is held against the winding pinion thanks to the yoke. The square part of the stem drives the wigwag pinion that in turn drives the winding pinion thanks to its breguet toothing. Number 3. Setting Lever Essentially, lever set watches require a lever release before the hands can be manipulated via the crown. Most lever set watches require unscrewing, prying off, or otherwise removing the bezel and crystal of the watch. Number 4. Setting Lever Jumper Setting jumper and lever, two components that combine to form a mechanism that requires the crown to be pulled out before manipulation. Number 5. Hour Wheel In horology, a wheel train is the gear train of a mechanical watch or clock. Although the term is used for other types of gear trains, the long history of mechanical timepieces has created a traditional terminology for their gear trains which is not used in other applications of gears.